Good evening, everyone. We have breaking news right now. We have just learned that a man accused of killing two family members will spend the rest of his life in prison. He made an Alford plea, which means he's not saying he did it, but admits the prosecution could likely prove that he did. Police arrested Joseph Joyner Jr. last April. Deputies found his father and stepmother dead in their Isle of Wight home. Ten on your sides, Lauren Compton just walked out of court, and Lauren, he was sentenced to four life terms in prison. That's right, Tom, and, at he, and if he had went to trial, he could have faced the death penalty and gone through a very lengthy trial. And Joyner's attorney tells me those are factors that played into him taking this Alford plea today. This was a very lengthy uh, hearing for most of the day, probably about two hours. We heard the mountain of evidence against him. Both Joyner's attorney and the Commonwealth's attorney says that, you know, with this evidence, he very well could have been found guilty had he gone to trial. We heard at great length about text messages, phone calls, that really proved his guilt in this case. And we also heard some very gruesome details about the murders of Sandra Lee Joyner and Joe uh, Joyner. And very disturbing, his family was in the, in the courthouse today. They visibly were just kind of numb about this whole situation. But there is some closure in this now, and that's what the sheriff says is the most important thing about this whole thing. But that we talked to Joyner's attorney who says that the big reason he took this plea is that Joyner didn't want his family to go through this trial and he wasn't ready to die. I think a lot of defendants don't want to face the evidence and face the fact that they could be guilty of this offense, and that was his mindset. He knew in his mind that he would be found guilty, and he knew he could face a death penalty. So therefore, this was a, I hate to say it, but this was a win of sorts for the defendant, but it really wasn't. The Alfred portion of it, though, it does bother me to a certain extent because in my mind, I know that he was guilty. Jay knows that he was guilty, and in some respects, because he does the Alfred, he not only is a convicted murderer, but he's also a liar. And that's the part of this plea that is so unsettling for some people is that he did not actually admit, admit guilt with this Alfred plea, but we did reach out to the family. They didn't want to speak, but the sheriff tells me they are very satisfied with this Alfred plea, and they just wanted closure in this case. Reporting live in Isle of Wight County, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.